Hello everyone, welcome back to my Python UI application series. In previous lesson we learned how to run basic UI with only one button and today we will add it some functionality. Our goal for today is to create application that will convert our input from euros to dollars. So let's start with adding two line edits to our UI. One on the left side of the button and one on the, at the right. You can resize the window and design it as you wish. I will just add a label which will be the title of my application. And just a little bit resize my window so, I'll, so our line edit will fit right in. So go to label is right here and I will put it at the middle on the top like this. I will also change the, the text of it, which is right here, and name it Converter. We can also change the font and, uh, and size of font, like this. And you have to resize label as well. Okay, by the way, you can also change the title right here on the top of our UI window. So you have to make sure that you have unselected every element and click on the window. And then go to property editor and search for window title. And change it to whatever you want. I will just change it to converter. When you're satisfied with your design, we can start coding. So open your Python file from previous lesson. If you run it, you should see the new design. Like so. Now open your Python file in idle. Now first thing we will do is define a function which will convert our input to dollars. So let's define a function, I'll name it convert. And then you have to make sure that you know what's the name of your line edit. You can see it right here in object inspector. For me, the second line edit is line edit underscore two. This is the one for, for dollars and this is the one for euros. So we, we want to convert from euros to dollars. So we have to set text to line edit underscore two. So type line edit underscore two dot set text and in here we will multiply our line edits text which will have to be converted to float by one one point two three. So first convert it to float and here we will type line edit just line edit because uh, of the first one is without underscore and dot text and you have to make sure that you don't forget DLG at the start of each element in your UI right here okay whoops the beginning and then you have to convert it back to string because you can't show because you can set text of float in to line edit okay so now we have our function but we haven't called it yet so now we have to write code which will check when our button is clicked so again check what's the name of your button for me is push button right here and i will just leave it so type dlg dot push button and then dot clicked dot connect and the name of your method for me is convert and paste it right here now you can try and run your application okay i will type let's say 20 euros to dollars okay what we uh, we forget to multiply it by 
3. So you have to make sure that you multiply it when you convert it to float. So it will be right here. So multiply it by 1.23. Control S for save and F5 for run. Okay. Let's try it again. So 20 and convert. Okay. We get our number but let's check if it's right go to google's uh, converter and type 20 euros and it's actually 24.58 so we can see our converter actually around it to 24.6 which is actually okay in later episodes i'll show you how to manipulate your decimal points but for now i think it's okay Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new and that you're motivated for some more advanced examples which will be shown in next videos. Stay tuned and I'll see you next week.